Welcome again to our another lesson of the day. We are going to continue with our lesson, and uh, I believe if you have been following our previous lesson, you will continue to understand the better. If you have not been following it, you should make sure that you subscribe in our subscription box and you make sure that you follow our previous lesson so as to have a mastery of what we have been doing before coming to where we are. Today, we we'll continue to look at the Mountain Petition Conference that started from the 22nd to the 24th of May, 1953. Now, as we've explained about the crisis in the eastern region of Nigeria, we have discovered that when the crisis was going on, those who formed the benevolent neutrality bloc, they could not continue to be part of Nigerian politics. And so, when they came back home, they carried out a regional tour in the world of British Islands and all, moving from one district to another, informing the people in British Southern Cameroon what has transpired in Nigeria and they asked all the district to send an listing to representatives in the Mante Conference which is called the Mante Petition Conference. The purpose of this conference was for the British Southern Cameroonians to come together under one umbrella, the traditional ones, the native authorities, the politicians, the students, they met in Manfe for two good days and they wrote a petition letter and uh, handed it to EML and then took it on the 28th of May. On this date, Endele carried a petition letter to London. The purpose of this petition letter was that some Cameroonians wanted the British government to create the Pacific region out of the eastern region of Nigeria. So, and then carried this letter to London, and when he went to London, he presented it to the British colonial secretary at the time, whom he was Sir Oliver Littington. Sir Oliver Littington hmm, took the petition letter from E.M. and uh, though he did not make any bad statement, but they were evident that the hand of the club was never to turn behind, which means that something positive from the petition letter was going to come. Uh, so now, Endele now, during this Mounted conference, it was there that EMA Endele stood in the conference together with Robert Zibonghe, they decided to merge their two political treasure groups to form a political party. So, when Endele came back home, that is when now, he asked him, because he came back home in London in May 1953, and in June 1953, that was when now EM and Endele together with Robert Zbonge, RK Zbonge. Together with EM and Endele, they decided to join their two political pressure groups into a political party. RK Zbonge, together with N. Endele, they have formed the Cameroon United National Congress, which was a political pressure group in 1951. And the EMA ended from Cameroon National Federation in 1949. So, this man, Zibonghe, of the Cameroon United National Congress Pressure Group and EMA ended of Cameroon National Federation, they decided to join these two political pressure groups and form a political party in Southern Cameroon because by then there were no political parties in British Southern Cameroon, but they were rather political pressure. Southern Cameroonians were members of political parties that were in Nigeria. Now, when the Cameroon National Congress was formed, the initial objective of the party, initial objective means the main purpose from the beginning of the party was cessation from Nigeria and reunification with French Cameroon. Why was the party preaching at about cessation? Because Southern Cameroon being in the eastern region of Nigeria, the Igbos, who were the people, the, the tribe that dominated the eastern region of Nigeria, maltreated Southern Cameroon. The Igbo has what we call a domineering attitude over the people in British Southern Cameroon. They took the advantage of the fact that Southern Cameroon was attached to them and they began to march with Southern Cameroon in that they adulterated palm wine. When we talk about adulterated palm wine, they take five liters of palm wine and add five liters of water there. They adulterated kerosene. They adulterated all the liquids that they were bringing to sell to Southern Cameroon. Aside that, the evil had a, a policy where they were forcing the people in Southern Cameroon to seize their land. 
the six evil people's wife. The evil were working in the police store in our city people in British Southern Cameroon, as well as in the six plantations in Southern Cameroon, like CDC. The people were working in offices where the people in Southern Cameroon were suffering. So, the hatred that the people of Southern Cameroon developed towards the evil, or the fear, we call it Igophobia. The fear for the evil. This evil phobia made the people of Bukit Sam Kamani to develop it towards Nigeria. That is why when India formed the KNC, the objective of the party was secession from Nigeria because of the fear for the evils. Now, when the KNC was formed, we have those people who refused to join the benevolent neutrality block. The four members who from the formation of the second political party in Southern Cameroon was formed the Cameroon People's Party in June 1953. This party, as I earlier said in the previous lesson, we said the Cameroon People's Party was formed by those who refused to join the benevolent neutrality bloc. The MM Biller, MM Biller and PM Kaleb being the main leaders of the Cameroon People's Party and uh, SMG Chisamanzi and uh, PM Motombi Oleta. PM Motombi Motombi Oleta and uh, RN Chali. These people formed the second political party in British Southern Cameroon, which was the KPP. And the objective of the KPP was that Southern Cameroon should continue to integrate with Nigeria. Now, when these two parties were formed in Southern Cameroon and they have two different ideologies or conflicting ideas, one was in support that Southern Cameroon should continue to affiliate with Nigeria, another one was that Southern Cameroon should succeed. So, there was a conference that was summoned in London in July and the month of August 1953 by Oliver Lytton. In the conference, the conference took place in a hall called the Lancaster Hall that we call the conference the Lancaster Conference. This conference was summoned by a polyvalentine to make sure that the people of British Southern Cameroon, since there were two different ideas, those who wanted Southern Cameroon to continue in Nigeria and those who wanted Southern Cameroon to succeed in Nigeria. The purpose of the conference was to come out with a final decision. It was in the Lancaster House Conference where Oliver Littington called the members of the KNC and the members of the KPP party. In this conference, the Oliver Littington made it clear that since he had made a secession from Nigeria, Endele should come back home and elections be organized in that 1953. If he means the election, obviously it means that the people of the Southern Cameroon want a separate region. But if it does not win, it means that the people of the KPP the people in Southern Cameroon are supporting them that they want to continue to be in Nigeria. So it was in then that when Ndele and the people of the members of the KPP came back home, elections were organized in British Southern Cameroon, uh, about the 1953 elections in British Southern Cameroon. And during these elections that were organized, you see the person or the party that win the highest seat so that the Southern Cameroon be granted a region or they will continue to affiliate with. Nigeria. In the 1953 elections that took place, we have the KNC had 12 seats, the KPP had zero, and there was S in charge. This was an independent candidate. He was not a member of a political party. He came from the Mante district. He had one seat. He gives 13 seats. The 13 seats, they are coming from the 13 representatives that were given to Southern Cameroon under the Mapesel constitution. When India won the elections in 1953, he was declared vote to the people wanted Southern Cameroon to stay out of Nigerian politics. So the desire of EMA in was granted in what we call a quasi-region. It was given to Southern Cameroon. Quasi-region means that it was a small region but still attached to Nigeria. Don't forget in the desire was that Southern Cameroon should be separated from the eastern region of Nigeria since the evil maltreated the people in British Southern Cameroon. Southern Cameroon was losing a lot as he was attached to the eastern region of Nigeria. And then one, and in October 1954, Oliver Littleton came out, or a new constitution was put in place in October 1954 called the Littleton Constitution that granted a quasi region to 
Sardin Cameroon. This region had its headquarters in Boya. The capital of the region was in Boya. The Kwasi region has 13 representatives in the assembly. The region has six nominated native authorities. No native authorities were nominated to represent. The region has two appointed of, of appointed members in, in, in the region, in the assembly. The region has an executive of four ministers. And these four ministers, we have EML Endele. Endele was the leader of government business. He was the, like the premier in the region. We have Esti Muna, who was another minister in the Kwasi region. We have Simon Are George. We have Esti George, who was another minister. And we have Reverend Jesse Kansen. Jesse Kansen. These were all Protestant Christians. The four were the first to form the executive government in the Kwasi region that was planted in British Southern Cameroon. Now, now we are going to look up again and look at the rise of EMA in the to power. So fellow viewers, if you have not subscribed or you have not watched our previous lessons, make sure that you go to our channel and watch the previous lesson because with what we are doing, the political event in the Southern Cameroon, you need to follow it from one stage to another to have a good mastery and a good understanding of it because this political history for those writing about slavery history, it is where many students face difficulties. So if you follow our previous lesson, we're going to guide you up to where we are and we will continue with our further lesson. So we are going to come back again and we look at the rise of EMA in the to power, which is having a first preview. As I said, don't forget to subscribe to the previous lessons on our channel, Benjamin Academy.